Hi guys, good morning, God bless you. I'm so excited that you guys are connected today, but most importantly, God is very happy that you're connected today. Um, as usual, as usual, we're gonna start this video with prayer to sing-alongs. We're gonna have a story. And then lastly, I'll have a little video clip for you so you can understand this whole lesson. All right, so let's go ahead, um, get comfortable wherever you're at. And go ahead and close your eyes because it is prayer time. So go ahead and close your eyes and just concentrate. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for this new day that you have given us. Thank you for our families. Thank you for everything that you have given us. Um, I ask, Lord, that you protect us and that you always provide for us. Um, I ask that you help us become better kids, better people. And thank you for forgiving forgiving uh, um, me for my sins. Thank you for forgiving us for um, our sins. Um, I ask in the name of Jesus that you take control of this video and open up every single child's mind and heart to understand today's lecture. I ask in the name of Jesus, amen. Good job if you prayed with me. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and do the sing-alongs. If you're happy and you know I clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, baby, life and show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it's not your feet. If you're happy and you know it's not your feet. If you're happy and you know it, baby, life and show it. If you're happy and you know it's not your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. amen If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. amen If you're happy and you know it, two or three Amen If you're happy and you know it, two or three Second Peter 3.18 Second Peter 3.18 Second Peter 3.18 Second Peter 3.18 
The Miracle of Mercy, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. All right, guys, so it's story time. I'll go ahead and be comfortable because I'm gonna go ahead and teach you something that's in the Bible. Now, today's topic is a prayer that allowed eyes to be opened so this means that there was someone that was blind and god used a person to do a prayer to heal that person now i want you to pay attention to two people um, paul and ananias so these are the two important people we will be talking about today now this right here is the Holy Bible. This is my copy. And uh, Paul is actually very famous for writing most of the books in the New Testament. And right now I'm going to show you how the New Testament looks. All right, so one day, hopefully, when you guys get older, you will be reading your Bibles every day. And then you're going to notice that there's an Old Testament. So all of this is the Old Testament. And this is the New Testament. This tells the story of Jesus. Um, the New Testament is written. Um, most of it is written by a person named Paul. All right. And we're going to go ahead and talk about him today. And so let's go ahead and get comfortable. All right, so I'll go ahead and read you. Today we're going to study, or I'm going to read you a story in the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 1 through 
verse 10 through 20. All right, it says, There was a follower of Jesus in Damascus named Ananias. In a vision, the Lord said to him, Ananias. Ananias answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said, Get up and go to the street called Straight Street. Find the house of Judas and ask for a, a man named Saul from the city of Tarsus. He is there now praying. He has seen a vision in which a man named Ananias came and laid his hands on him so he could see again. And right here is Ananias. It says that he was a follower of Jesus and his name is Ananias. Okay, and the and God talked spoke to him and told him that he needed to go find Saul. Okay? Now Saul was a very bad man back in the day. He did not like Christians. Okay? Um but God still wanted to use him. And he, he he transformed the heart of a bad man and changed it completely, changed it around. It says, but Ananias answered, Lord, many people have told me about this man. They told me about the many bad things he did to your holy people in Jerusalem. He has come here to Damascus. The leading priest has given him the power to arrest all the people who trust you. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, I have chosen Saul for an important work. I want him to tell other nations, their rulers, and the people of Israel about me. I will show him all that he must suffer for me. So Ananias went to the house of Judas. He laid his hands on Saul, here's Saul, and said, Saul, my brother, the Lord Jesus sent me. He is here. He is the one you saw on the road when you came here. He sent me so that you can see again and also be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, Seeing something that looked like a, like a fish, scales fell off of Saul's eyes. He was able to see. Then he got up and was baptized. After he ate, he began to feel strong again. Saul stayed with the followers of Jesus in Damascus for a few days. Soon he began to go to the synagogues and tell people, about Jesus. He told the people, Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So, as I said, this is Ananias. Jesus called, Jesus sent him on a mission to go find Ananias. I mean, Paul, uh, Saul. Which his name was later... Uh, transform into Paul and this is him thinking that he's not worthy that he's a bad man that God convinced them that he was going to do something good out of him he was going to transform his heart then he obeyed God Ananias obeyed God laid his hands prayed on Paul which in this case will be Saul and immediately the scales of his eyes fell out he was able to see again. And here is a picture of how he followed God's mission. He followed the mission that he had, the task. Uh, many people did not like him because they considered him a traitor. But eventually, with God's protection, he was able to do what he was able to do. All right, kids, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys learned something about 
Ananias, how God used him to uh, heal Apostle Paul to see again. And he did that all by all in prayer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, all right, guys, I love you so much. I miss you so much, and I hope to see you next week.